Microphone check. One, two, three. Cheddar cheese in the place to be. Silver price report coming at ya. Bringing you the daily price of real physical silver. Big day today. Let's get into it. All right. Wait a minute. What did I do? Oh, this, okay, I did it right. <laughs> All right. This is the uh, average price for August 27th, 2021, priced in US dollars. Um, actually, let me scroll up a little bit. I don't know if my face is covering that. American Silver Eagle, $33.09. Canadian Maple Leaf, $29.31. Austrian Philharmonic, $28.15. Private Mint, $27.72. With an average price of $29.57. Premium, $5.60. So that average price is up for today. That premium pretty much flat, bouncing around. I mean, it hasn't really gone anywhere since the 25th. So since Wednesday. Now let's look at this uh, spot price action. Now this was when the um, this big dip here and then bounce back happened after uh, Jay Powell's uh, speech from Jackson Hole. We're gonna talk about that here in a second. We ended the day up at about 24 bucks. So that's just crazy looking. I will not be surprised if that, well, I hope it continues. Let's say that I hope it continues. But with the way this freaking market has been acting, I mean, shit, dude, we were at what, like 28 bucks just a few months ago and got smashed down to under 23. I, th- I think we got to 22 one day if, if i remember correctly but so much stuff happens dude and I, I the problem with taking in so much damn information is you sometimes you just get mixed up with stuff and actually uh, i'm gonna go off on a quick tangent here i know i've been having information overload uh because i recently bought a book i bought um america's great depression by murray rothbard and I can't retain any information. Actually, I just stopped reading it. I got through the introduction and like the first couple pages on chapter one. And then I just realized I'm just not, I'm not holding any information. And that is not normal for me at all. I'm a a very, very avid reader. So I don't know if it's like, I guess, excuse me. Ooh, just had some soup. So I just think, you know, information overload or maybe... You know, I've been training my brain to take in information from lectures and podcasts more than than reading. But which is weird to me because last year I read. Did, did I read the? I know that had to have been last year that I read um, Ultimate Foundations, the Economic Science, and I just I have just absorbed that book. So anyway dollar to silver ratio this is this is um as of this recording five thousand nine hundred and eighty eight dollars for every uh one ounce of uh investable silver that's out there not just monetary silver but also collectible coins and stuff like that that's up 11 bucks for the week so i did watch the um meeting for the jackson hole symposium Jerome Powell pretty much this what happened was what I've been talking about uh there was no real announcement well let me let me read this quote here I think this this uh sentence from Yahoo Finance sums it up Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said the central bank could begin reducing its monthly bond purchases this year though it won't be in a hurry to begin raising interest rates thereafter so uh, if I remember correctly, um, Powell said that you know they're looking at reducing, uh, like I said, their bond purchases, maybe their mortgage-backed uh, security purchases sometime this year, but the rate hike still won't come for 2023. Uh, the market 
The stock market responded positively to that. Uh, I understand that some of the indexes hit new all-time highs. Um, I, I have four positions um, in different mining companies. All of them were in the green, including um, my gold mines, which has just been getting slaughtered lately. Uh, even the uh, mining company I bought for my, um, my infrastructure play did very well. My guess is... This is how I look at that. With them talking about tapering. I will believe it when I see it. Not saying they're not going to do it. I'm just saying there's a low probability that they will. Um, And like I was saying yesterday, if anything happens, they're just... They will do something small and symbolic. That's it. Um, Listening to a lot of analysts all day while I was at work. And it seems the consensus is a lot of people think they're going to do something small to test the waters, see how the market reacts, and then kind of continue from there. I did listen to an interview with the, uh, oh, excuse me, I'm boring myself. (laughs) I did listen to um, an interview with the uh, governor from the Philadelphia Fed, and this seems to be the consensus uh, between the, at least that half, the half that wants to wants to normalize, uh, they want they want to do tapering first with the bond purchases and the mortgage per, uh, purchases first, then they will move into um, uh, normalizing the interest rates. But once again, I don't. I'll believe it when I see it. And just to use my analogy from yesterday, if they do anything, it's flinching. That's it. So they're gonna they're gonna try and test you. Uh, do these symbolic gestures to show that um, they're in control or that everything is all good. Uh, But the problem is, uh, by flinching at somebody, you can, well, you might get your nose broken. It's, you know, the saying from Mike Tyson, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. Um, Man, I had one more, I had one more thought. Oh, I just, I just had a freaking, I just had it and then I, and then I forgot it something that that Powell said all right well anyway let me move on man it's bothered me that I forgot uh, this is a, um, a, a video essay called how totalitarian societies brainwash their citizens is taken from uh, it's an excerpt from another essay I'm going to put a link to this down below it's from the American Institute of Economic Research Um, I thought it was really good. I'm going to read, I'm going to read this quote here. Why is big tech scrubbing even the most innocuous of alternative views? Man, my bad. (sighs) Tired from work. Sorry about that, dude. I'm trying to get all serious, freaking yawning. Oh, probably putting you guys sleep out there. All right. Why is big tech scrubbing even the most innocuous of alternative views? Mirlo explained why. Mirlo, he wrote a book. Um, oh, what is it called? He wrote a book called The Rape of the Mind, The Psychology of Thought Control, Menticide and Brainwashing. Uh, he was a psychiatrist who escaped from a Nazi prison in occupied Highland. Holland. So Mirlo explained why. The mind that is open for questions is open for dissent. In the totalitarian regime, the doubting, inquisitive, and imaginative mind has to be suppressed. The totalitarian slave is only allowed to memorize, to salivate when the bell rings, Merlot Merlot adds. "To To the degree that the individual is made an object of constant mental manipulation, to the degree that the cultural institutions may tend to weaken intellectual and spiritual strength, to the degree that the knowledge of the mind is used to tame and condition people instead of educating them, to that degree does the culture itself produce men and women who are predisposed to accept an authoritarian way of life. The man who has no mind of his own can easily become the pawn of a would-be dictator. And the reason that the inquisitive and imaginative mind has to be suppressed um, is because that is a mind which uh, possibly is a possible dissenter. And, and, and the reason I'm talking about this 
and the reason I want to bring this up um, is just to say that you guys watching this video and um, that are into precious metals uh, and all these kind of you know alternative economic views, you guys are blessed. Uh, and I really mean that. I'm not saying that just to gas you up and you know making you feel good for hitting hitting the subscribe button um, because you have the inquisitive mind. You, you you're if you're watching this channel, you, you're on YouTube, you're over at Wall Street Silver. Even if you just stumbled on on here, you're not like other people. Most people don't own any gold or silver. I, I guarantee you. There's more people that would be interested in buying crypto or buying Tesla than are interested in buying physical gold and silver. So you're blessed. You're blessed with an inquisitive mind. You're here for a reason. You didn't just... Even if you stumbled onto here, you're stumbling around for a reason. You're like, a, you might be a man in the dark, but a man in the dark is looking for something. They're not just sitting in the dark. They're feeling about looking for a wall. So you are the mind that that has dissented. And that's why, um, you know, we talk about suppression with gold and silver. And, you know, a lot of the, the corporate media doesn't like, um, or the financial corporate media doesn't like um, you know, gold and silver. And that's why they downplay it. Uh because it, it leads to dissent. It leads to dissent in the current financial system. I mean, that's why uh, crypto is going to be brought into the fold and probably taxed to death and regulated to death, just like gold and silver um, became taxed and regulated to death. Because it's a threat to the system, or at least they perceive it to be. Now, it might be a no-coiner and all that, but again, we're going to set all that to the side. That doesn't matter. The fact is that people that are getting involved in crypto are... are getting introduced to different ideas about the monetary system so you know count your blessings man and, and utilize the blessings and utilize the knowledge that you have and i'm speaking uh as somebody that squandered a lot of their blessings and a lot of their potential to be honest with you i made um a lot of financial mistakes in my past and bullshitted with my money a lot and, and i'm paying for it um you know, growing up and stuff, people always told me, oh, you're really smart. You're really smart. But I always haven't been wise. And I'd much rather be wise. Being smart is knowing things. Being wise is knowing what to do with the things that you do know. It's what you do with the things that you do know. And I haven't always utilize my knowledge in the correct manner and that's why i want to encourage you guys out there to take advantage of what you know because this is my advantage though i i didn't do everything correct with my money because i already have knowledge i can better utilize the resources i do have better than these people that are just now coming in into these spaces you know i got interested well i i, I, I ain't gonna go on to the whole you know personal history but I started stacking silver in about 2015 when Greece happened. Uh, that was the Greece, um, the Greece bail-ins, you know, the collapse of the Greece economy. And I looked at it and I said, man, that's a first world. That's, that's a European Union. That's a first world nation. Stuff is getting, stuff is getting real. Let me start buying silver. But I still didn't take it as serious as I should have. It took the repo crisis to come and lay the smack down on me. To, to put the fire under my ass to actually get serious about this economic stuff. And when repo happened, I took money out of my 403B and bought as much silver as I could. And then keep in mind, about six months after that, that's when COVID hit and the lockdowns hit. And, I, and after that, I was like, yeah, this stuff, all the stuff that I've been reading and studying, it's real. But the point I'm trying to make is, had I took it more serious before 2019, I would be sitting in a much better position. I wouldn't be as worried about finding this job and, and you know, trying to make these moves that I'm doing now. I would be in a much better position if I was wiser, not necessarily smarter, but wiser. Because these people out here, they might not, there's, there's people out here, um, 
that that might not know as much as me as far as econ and i'm not no super genius you know i'm just a hobbyist but i guess i'm i'm somewhat well versed you know, i've gotten comp- you know shout out to all the folks out there that, that, that have dropped them compliments you know i guess i do know uh, you know I, I nerd out on this stuff man but those people out there that were wiser than me they said they don't know as much but they know something something's something ain't right and, and they say they 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 just know the basics well if they were wiser meaning they were more disciplined more prudent than i am even though i know all this that and the other thing it don't matter because that wisdom has left them in a better position they don't need to know everything they just need to know the right things to do and what to do with it imagine somebody that knows everything but they don't even know how to utilize it you're lost but somebody that knows just the basics and they utilize it they put it into action those people are better off than the know-it-all egghead people so i that's that's just my little (laughs) my little pep talk for you guys man you're you're blessed you're blessed to be inquisitive you didn't just end up in this space for no reason utilize your knowledge utilize your blessings because the stuff out here from from what i'm looking at is getting real and, and as most of y'all out here know the fed is back into a corner that's why i'm saying I, I i'll believe they'll taper um when they actually do it because we all know any way that they move something's gonna go wrong it's too far gone and a lot of people out here they don't know you know maybe you bless them people with some knowledge too but count your blessings man it ain't you know you still you still got a window of opportunity you still got a chance we're not you know to me it's looking like the the stage is set for a crack up boom we you can see it going on there's a flight people don't want the dollar no more russia's getting out look at the popularity of crypto look at silver squeeze Look at these. What are we seeing with the home price data? New new housing sales are down. This is what I keep hearing. New housing sales are down, but the prices are going up. How? How? These people are getting out of the dollar. They're looking for yield. Look, man. <laughs> the real rate of interest. I mean, I'm talking about interest rates. And I'm not just talking about the Fed funds rate or the bond rate. Because there's you know, when people talk about interest rates, there's a lot of... You know confusion i'm talking about interest rates in general your bank your savings account negative the bond negative you know what whatever the five dollars you gave your cousin last week negative your, <laughs> your, your, <laughs> I, go, I, go, I was gonna make a street but i would say you fronted you fronted somebody you fronted your plug a little a little bag of something something the rate of return is negative <laughs> <laughs> you know so yeah they're, they're buying up these houses they need to make a return anyway i'm going off on, oops my bad anyway i'm going off on a ta- tangent man utilize your knowledge utilize your knowledge you're blessed to be here you are the counterculture we are the financial counterculture silver more than anything it's out of favor with everybody people people probably will buy gold People know more about gold, they know about silver than the Joe Schmo on the street. So once again, not, not to repeat myself, man, but you're blessed. You're blessed with knowledge. You're blessed with being inquisitive. Utilize it. Also, but keep in mind on the other side, also be on guard and protect your mind because you're the one that's going to be under attack here soon. You're going to be you know i know people have different feelings about covid and the vax and all that stuff i'm not taking it so on that end i'm already under attack you know i the the spread is my fault and all this and i'm a crazy conspiracy theorist and all this i'm already under attack on that end and i'm gonna get ready to face another it's like a two-front war i'm on that end i'm getting hit i'm gonna get hit on the financial side look at uh remember when nixon um close the gold window what do he say it's the speculators i'm a speculator speculation is an uh, is a guess about what you think is going to happen in the future i think it's the dollar's going down precious metals are going up i'm going to get blamed 
some way, shape, or form, uh, 2008. Man, there was, I wish I could uh, remember that video. It was a, uh, a fund manager. He was going back and forth with a, um, a bureaucrat. He was a European bureaucrat. And the fund manager said it correctly. He was like, you know, when times are good, um, these guys ain't got nothing to say about people like me as a fund manager. But when times are bad, they want to come and blame me. But it was y'all policies that did this. You know, oh, it's the, it's the traders. It was the Wall Street traders. No. The, the core problem with the housing market was, again, the Fed, low interest rates. So you're gonna get, you're gonna, you're gonna face it. You're gonna be the, you're gonna be the inquisitive mind that has to get stomped out and, and, and pushed back in line. So be on the, be on the defense. Count your blessings, but still be on the, um, on the defense, man. So that's about it for this rant. I'll be back on Tuesday morning with Monday's price. So hopefully you found this helpful. Hopefully you can incorporate this into your analysis. Until then, peace out.